Okay, so you've unplugged your machine and now you're going to remove your battery. We don't want any power in the system while you're, remo while you're replacing your solid straight drive or hard drive. Next we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver and we're going to remove a screw here and here, which we, we've already done. And you're going to take your pry tool and you're going to start to apply some pressure and you're going to push down on that panel while you do it. And it should just pop right off, just like so. Now you're going to remove a screw here, 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 and here, which as you can see we've already done. You're going to pull on that tab and push away from the port, just like so. And you're going to pull it out and remove a screw here, 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 and here, which we've already done. And you can take that hard drive out and replace it with a solid state drive or hard drive or upgrade whichever you have however you want. Now this is the M.2 solid state drive port to point out. So if you want to upgrade or have one like this, you may need to replace it here. Which you would put in that port right there and screw it in right where I'm pointing. Next, how to reinstall. That's how it goes in. So that's how the caddy is going to need to be. You would put your new one in like so. Put a screw there, there, here, and here. And then set it down, making sure the port lines up properly, and you sl slide it in place just like so. Screw there, 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 and there. And then you would take it, hook on that panel at the bottom, and then just go ahead and push it on down. And you put a screw there and there. Next, you would take your battery. And go ahead and reinstall it and lock it into place. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you find that you like free IT advice, if you like knowing how your computer works and seeing how it can be repaired, then go ahead and subscribe. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.